What is up, Flockers? That is my fellow Lockers and aspiring Lockers. As you can see in the title, we are doing a braid out on my undercut. And I always like to start with my Lion Locks Locking Moisturizer. And I will put a generous amount on my hands and just work that through my locks from the root to the tip to make sure that I am saturating my entire lock. And then I go in with my DIY oil that I love and I'm very generous with this and I will also coat my locks in the oil as well as do a scalp massage and make sure that I'm also getting the undercut portion of my hair too because that part needs loving. And then I go in and do the braid out portion which there's nothing special about this it's just plaiting your hair although I'm sitting here struggling trying to <laughs> count. So typically when I do my braid outs I'll do larger sections, but this time I really wanted it to be extremely defined and I wanted it to last for a couple of weeks. And so I did do smaller sections than usual. So as you can see here, I did not start the braid at the scalp. I started a little bit of ways down just so that way there's that natural kind of thing. And then I will braid it all the way down the length of the lock. And at the end, I like to use little elastic bands to fasten mine. There's other ways of doing it. If you want to use something else, there's other methods that you can use to, to keep your locks together. And if they're longer, then maybe you can just twist them at the end and they'll stay. I use elastic bands on mine. But I'll speed up this process just as you can see. There's nothing special or difficult about it. It is just simply braiding it down. The braid outs always are are delivering on what they need to give and so you can never go wrong with the good old braid out but yeah just going through and making sure that i don't leave any locks out with the undercut i think i have a better chance of making sure that i get each and every lock but every time i have done a braid out i have left out at least two if not more locks and then this is when i finish the process it's kind of giving crisscross jump jump crisscross and make you jump jump so just with the length i'm not really crazy about it just leaving it down although i could rock it i did rock it like this to the store but when i had an event coming up the next day i decided that i did want to go ahead and do a style with it just so that it wasn't hanging down and looking awkward so this is me trying to figure out a basket weave with these the same way that i would basket weave my hair if it were in the loose locks but now just doing it with these sections and then tying that off with an elastic band at the end probably should have paid a little bit more attention to making it into a bun in the back because when i do turn around you'll see that i had some pieces sticking out um, but that didn't really bother me it was fine for the event and then this is the next day actually this wasn't the next day i left that style in for a few days and then a few days later i decided to go ahead and undo that so as you can see look at that definition uh, after letting letting it stay in for a couple of days and it was fully dry when I took it out and so it just provided that great hold and definition and then it has that nice wave pattern to it and again like I said I did not braid starting at the scalp so it allows that kind of loose give at the scalp and allows the hair to to move a little bit freer and not be so stiff and lacking movement or at least that's how i feel that's why i don't braid all the way to the scalp and i think it just gives a better look overall so then i just go through and decide if i want to do a middle part which i don't because it looked a little weird to me and deciding how i want to wear it and style it and that's it if you've enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like button and i will see you in the next one bye